Hey guys, it's Vic Jagger and it's time for the weekly rundown. Starting off at number five, the world was shook when we learned that we lost R&B legend, Grammy winner and songwriter, James Ingram. A lot of celebrities posted their condolences and talked about experiences they had with James. He was such a great singer and everyone loved him. Quincy Jones said that James Ingram was one of the best voices and he even posted a tribute to him. I know I had to go listen to Secret Garden a few times myself. Coming in at number four, Black Panther. I know, we, we saw it way, way back. Now it's winning awards, but guess what? Because it's Black History Month, they have decided to bring Black Panther back to the theaters for free. Yes, the first through the seventh, you can go to select AMC theaters and check out Black Panther. That'll be a good day night. Coming in at number three, it's been reported that Wendy Williams is still recovering from a shoulder fracture and you know some complications with Graves' disease. So a lot of celebrities have been holding down her show, including Nick Cannon, who is set to fill in for the queen of all media. On her show, they're still gonna do hot topics, and you know, have all the tea, the interviews and gossip. So get well soon, Wendy. And we're looking forward to seeing Nick in the hot seat. Coming in at number two, have you been keeping up with Celebrity Big Brother? Okay, so Tamar and Candy were going back and forth. I think she's been kind of getting into it with everyone in the house, Tamar that is. Well, this week, reportedly, she and Lolo Jones almost went at it. As a matter of fact, there are reports that Lolo Jones slapped those RoboCop glasses off of Tamar because she's like, I'm gonna slap somebody, we'll do it. Well, look, say something. Well, I'm gonna do it. But now, guess what? By the end of the week, they're friends again. So we'll have to see what happens in this celebrity big brother house, right? Tamar, you bringing a drama girl? Coming in at number one, this has been the biggest story all week. Empire star Jesse Smollett was allegedly attacked and called racial and homophobic slurs, allegedly got bleach poured on him and had a noose wrapped around his neck and it all went down in Chicago. So a lot of different reports have been coming out, you know? We're trying to figure out what the story is. What I can say is Chicago police have released a picture of the suspects, but it's kind of shadowy and dark, so you can't really see who it is. And there have been some clarifications to the stories in the media. So apparently there was a story that Chicago police asked for Jesse's phone and he just flat out refused. Well, sources close to Jesse say that did not happen. Actually, he was just uncomfortable and didn't want to give up his phone, but he's in the process of giving his phone records to Chicago police. Now, the police have gone through video footage and they can't really find the actual attack yet, but I'm hoping someone comes forward and says something. Jesse's family even released a statement saying that all of the claims have been 100% true and that he has not changed his story whatsoever. And Jesse even released a statement saying that his body is strong, but his soul is stronger. So we hope that he finds justice real soon. We are definitely wishing Jesse a very speedy and healthy recovery. That's your weekly rundown. I'm Vic Jagger. And for all these stories and more, you can go to mymagicdc.com. I'll be back next week.